Alcides Escobar, Alex Gordon, and the Royals tried to cool off the Tigers, who have won three in a row. Pick things up in the second. It's 2-0 Royals. KC still threatening. Bases loaded, two out. Billy Butler facing Charlie Furbush. And Butler's going to win this battle. Finds the hole in left for a base hit. Alcides Escobar and Chris Getz both score. Royals pad their lead 4-0. Move to the third. It's now 5-2. Melky Cabrera in the box. Comes through with a base hit up the middle. Escobar will score. 6-2 Royals. Take another look. Cabrera's connection goes right through the legs of Furbush. Well, Cabrera's stay on the bases was short-lived. Next batter, Alex Gordon. Alex drives it to center field, deep. Back goes Wells, all the way back. Gone for a three-run home run. His 11th of the year, that capped a five-run third. Furbush lasted just two and two-thirds, nine runs, four earned. Top of the fourth, it's now 9-4. Tigers trying to mount a comeback against Luke Hochaver. Brendan Bosch with a base hit. Ryan Rayburn scores. Tigers move closer 9-5. After two consecutive walks, forcing another run, Greg Holland comes in to replace Hochaver. He gets Don Kelly to fly out to center to escape the jam. Royals maintain their three-run cushion 9-6. Bottom of the fifth, two on, one out. Melky Cabrera comes through with another base hit up the middle. Escobar scores. Chris Getz heading to third, and he is going to be tagged out by Don Kelly. Royals settle for 1-10-6. Bottom of the sixth, it's now 11-6. Alcides Escobar adds an early exclamation point. And that's drilled to left center field. All the way to the screen. Frank Hoare scores. Is around third. Escobar into third. He is safe for the two run triple. 13 6 Royals, and that would be the final. Escobar really put his foot to the pedal. He earned himself a new pair of pants. Escobar and Alex Gordon drove in three runs apiece. Billy Butler and Melky Cabrera each added two ribbies. Everett T. Ford worked three innings of one hit ball for his first career save.